Hello everyone and welcome to, to the presentation of the paper Side Channel Analysis and Control Measures Design for Implementation of the Curve for 48 on Cortex M4. My name is Mustafa Bishaniasar and this is a joint work between Florida Atlantic University, PQ Secure Technologies and Hansung University. In this presentation, we will have a brief introduction of Curve for 48 and the motivation of our work. Then we will discuss our proposed architecture for implementation of the Curve for 48 on Cortex M4. Then we will review our implementation results and compare them with the previous work. Then we will evaluate our protected design against side channel analysis attacks. At the end, we will have a conclusion. Let's start with the motivation of the work. The implementation of the Curve for 48 is too complex because of its extended field size, particularly on IoT devices. This implementation is more challenging if we want to have a secure implementation against side channel analysis leakages. Although we are immigrating to the post-quantum cryptography, this transition takes time. Therefore, we have to provide a hybrid crypto a hybrid crypto system to support both classical ECC crypto system and PQC. Therefore, we have to implement and improve the recently standardized ECC crypto system, while the Curve for 48 implementation has not been truly studied in the literature. Therefore, in this, this, in this work, we focus on the Curve for 48 protected implementation to address some backdoor issues compared to the other ECC designs. The Curve 448 provides 222-224-bit security, which is suitable for applications at the higher security level. There is only one previous work to implement Curve 448 over Cortex-M4 by our co-authors. This work performed 26 scalar multiplications per second at 168 MHz, utilizing extended affine and projective coordinates. This work is based on that work by improving the field arithmetic with careful memory management. We also improve our results by using the an efficient restricted X coordinate. We also add some effective countermeasures to avoid DPA attacks while the previous work was only constant time. The CURE 448 and ED 448 implementations over other platforms such as the FPGA, AVR, and MSP is also reported in this list. Therefore, in this design, we optimize the low-level field arithmetics by using several techniques, including carry borrow catcher technique, refined operand catching method, and implementation of the interleaf reduction technique. We also use the special shape of the curve 448 prime to increase our efficiency. These techniques reduce the memory accesses, showing 18% performance improvement in low-level arithmetic. Using the restricted X coordinate in group operation, we achieved totally 40% speed up compared to the previous work. We also embed several countermeasures to avoid side channel and fault injection attacks and evaluate our design using TVLA method. Our results showed that our implementation can uh, can be protected against those attacks at the cost of 8 to 22 percent performance overhead. Therefore, we will have a trade-off between the required protection and performance based on our implementation and application. In this work, we target STM32F discovery board to implement to implement Curve 448 over Cortex M4. As you know. Cortex M4 is based on the ARM V7M architecture, having 16 32 bit core registers, while only 14 of them are available for programmer. In this design, we, we try to use the entire register set and 
reorganize the instruction flow to increase the efficiency of our design compared to the other designs. In the low-level arithmetic, to implement the modular addition and subtraction, we use a carry borrow catcher technique. We also use the reduced instruction set and perform two arithmetic operations on long integers in parallel to reduce the memory accesses. As you can see here in this figure, we're using the alternative, uh, alternating technique between the add and sub blocks, we can reduce the memory accesses and showing the improvement in terms of the performance in our modular addition and subtraction. For implementation of the modular multiplication, we use refined operand catching method. In this uh, technique, our operands A and B are represented in 14 different digits, while the, uh, the multi-precision multiplication uh, are uh, used using the UMAL instruction. The data flow and instruction flow are our proposed architecture for modular multiplication is shown in this figure. While the arrow here shows the process of our part, uh, partial product. Using this architecture, we reduce the number of the pipeline styles by removing the interdependency. We are moving from the point one to point four showing in this figure. Therefore, our implementation needs only four steps using 128 bit catching bits. From the memory management perspective, our platform features one megabyte of flash and 192 kilobyte of RAM, including 128 kilobyte SRAM and 64 kilobyte CCM RAM. We observed that the entire SRAM means 128 kilobyte is not enough for, in, for running Care 48 scalar multiplication. Therefore, due to its large local data structure, we reserve a region inside the CC RAM, CCM RAM to place part of our data residing into a stack, showing increase, increasing uh, performance compared to the other works. Our implementation results compared to previous work is reported in this table. As you can see here, we implement our technique using two different group operations, means meaning double and always and and Montgomery ladder technique. The double and always add technique shows 15, almost 15% 15 improvement in 24 megahertz compared to the previous work. While the Montgomery ladder can, uh, can achieve ad an additional 29% per, uh, percent performance improvement using the restricted X coordinate compared to the double and always add technique. This improvement can be achieved at the cost of 40% uh, more memory utilization. At 168 megahertz, our results show that we can achieve 8.6 times speed up compared to the previous work performing almost 43 scalar multiplications per second. Our results uh, compared to the other algorithms are reported in this table. The first three rows of the table uh, target, uh, targets the lower security level, uh, I mean 128-bit security. Therefore, as you can see, higher security level comes with the performance penalty. However, our results show that Care 48 implementation is still, uh, is still feasible for IoT devices. We should also consider that the possibility of SCA uh, side channel algorithmic improvement can reduce the required time to break an, an ECC architecture. Therefore, by moving to a higher security level, we can keep a margin against unknown attack. To protect our design against side channel analysis leakage, we embed several countermeasures. Although the Montgomery ladder can protect our design against timing and SPA attacks, the scalar blinding can, uh, 
can avoid DPA and cross correlation attacks also. We also embed and implement a flow counter counter measure to protect our design against fault, uh, fault injection attacks. However, these counter measures uh, needs more uh, latency. Uh, and as you can see here, for example, point randomization adds almost 8% more time compared by adding one multiplication per ladder step. However, scalar blinding extends the number of ladder step iterations, adding almost 13% uh, performance, 13% uh, uh, in time compared to the unprotected design. We evaluate our protected design uh, using the cheapest prior platform at 25 megahertz. Using the TVLA method with pool of 10,000 traces, we can see an iterative leakage over our uh, unprotected implementation. However, by enabling those counter measures, we can see that the T value is decreasing, showing that our counter measures are effective and we do not have any leakage using 10,000 traces. To conclude, we implement a secure design of the curve 448 using uh, these techniques over ARM Cortex M4 architecture. Our results show that we need only 23 milliseconds to perform one Australian multiplication at 168 megahertz. We also implement several counter measures at the cost of increasing 8 to 22 percent performance overhead. Our, our protected design also evaluated against uh, SCA attacks using the TVLA method over 10,000 power traces. For the future work, we are going to extend our design by adding more fault attack counter measures. We, and also we are trying to apply this method on ED448 to have a secure signature algorithm. Thank you for your attention.